Hi, I'm Julia. You don't have to be a talented musician to make awesome music. Today, we'll be showing you how to create music at home using glasses. So what you'll need for this experiment are one or more wine glasses, and make sure you have permission to use them, some water, and a metal spoon, and a cup if you need to dip your finger in water. Take an empty wine glass and place it in front of you on a table. First, rub your finger around the rim of the glass and press down gently to observe how it feels. Does your finger stick to the glass? Is it gliding along the rim? Do you hear anything? Now wet your index finger with water. So do the same thing as we did before, but now try using your wet finger. Does it feel any different? Do you feel any resistance? If you don't hear anything, try applying less pressure or slow down. When you hear a sound, try taking your finger away. Does the glass continue to ring or does it stop? Now try the same thing with a metal spoon. Does it sound any different? Place down the spoon and use your finger again. So you're going to want to fill the one third of the glass with water. All right, so now that we have this filled, try again dipping your finger in water. Does it make a higher or lower sound? Does the water in the glass stay still or does it move around? Now, try adding more water and see if it makes any other differences. All right, now take your spoon again and tap the glass gently. Are there any differences here as well? If you'd like, you can experiment more with different sized glasses, placing objects in the glass, or placing multiple glasses closer together. So how does this work? Here, you're using a principle called stick and slide. When you rubbed a dry finger along the rim, you didn't hear a sound because there was too much friction between the glass and your finger when applying pressure to the glass. As something moves, the two objects rubbing together create a force in the opposite direction, which is called friction. When you rubbed a wet finger on the rim, your finger sticks, then slides on the glass, which produces a vibration inside the glass. The same happens when you tap the glass with a spoon. With water in the glass, you could see the vibrations in the water as waves. Did you notice when you added more water, there was a deeper sound? This is because the amount of water inside the glass makes it heavier, making it harder for the glass to vibrate. Enjoy making some sweet sounds. Hatter Stem out.